guys today I'm going to be filming a what's in my hospital bag video um, this is the bag that I will be taking to the hospital it is just a suitcase um, with a handle um, and wheels and I am currently 36 weeks and six days tomorrow I'll be 37 weeks so we are down to the wire guys but I am having an elective c-section so um when i say elective i break take take that yeah i mean that very lightly because i kind of have to have a c-section because i've had two um my risks are higher i have polyhydramnios uh several reasons but anyway this is packed for a c-section birth if you're having a vaginal birth you might not need everything in here um, but it's pretty birth friendly. Um, I definitely probably overpacked a little bit. I always do. This is my fourth baby and I'm still overpacking, but I'm also delivering at a new hospital. So I'm not exactly sure what they have, what they don't have, that kind of thing. We're going to get into this. Um, I am going to start, I think, with my clothes. I will be adding clothes to this bag for my husband because he will be there with me as well. But, um, he said he'd rather just pack his clothes when we leave, which if I go into labor, hey, <laughs> but um, that's what he wants to do. So I'm going to let him put his clothes in here. I think there's enough room. If not, worst case scenario, we have to take another bag. Um, I did pack other stuff for him, though, but I'm going to get started on the clothes. Um, I didn't bring a lot of clothes because... The first day, probably day and a half, I'll be in a hospital gown. So that takes away a lot of my need for clothes. Um, but I did make sure I had a couple things because, one, I don't know how long I'll have to stay because I don't know if I'll have a complication afterwards or things like that. And then also, with Willa, she unexpectedly went to the NICU. So I feel like I was there a little bit longer. Um, I think I did go home on discharge day and came back, but either way, yeah. So, first off, I have a nightgown. Um, it's just a really comfy, cute little nightgown. It's gray and pink, and um, it doesn't have buttons, so I can't just unbutton it to nurse, but I'll probably just lift it up, to be honest, because I'm not going to be having visitors because of COVID, so... I'm not really worried about that. And then I have another similar nightgown that is just cheetah print right here. I hate pulling everything out for these videos, to be honest, because everything's packed so great, but that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cough. I had, I think I had COVID a few weeks ago. And I can't get rid of the cough. I was like presumptive COVID because at the time you couldn't find any tests. So, And then I have a nursing bra. I'll wear a nursing bra there as well, but I want to have an extra one in the bag. And then I have a couple pairs of my own underwear just to have. Um, they're, they're old underwear. But, um, I do use the hospital underwear, but I like to have a couple pairs, um, because when I go home, I usually put my own on, and then, I don't know, I just have an extra pair in there. And then I have this robe that I got for Christmas from Rex, actually. And the funny thing is, it doesn't fit me right now, but my belly is humongous because I have polyhydramnios again, and so, um, I'm pretty sure after the baby's born... This will fit better but um it's just a pink um robe i'll probably wear this a lot too to be honest with you um because i can just open it up feed baby and be on my merry way and then i have two pairs of socks i have these ones that have grippies on the bottom so i can wear my own socks um, while i'm at the hospital and then i have just a plain pair for home oh and i have another pair I didn't realize I had three pairs in there. I don't need this pair. So that can go back in my dresser. 
And then for home, I have a, a pair of maternity leggings. This is a shirt. It's a good thing I did this video. Um, that's a shirt. So actually, I have to put a pair of maternity leggings in here. I thought these were my leggings. It's like similar material. One is a black shirt, so I need to throw a pair of maternity leggings for home in there. And then I have the shirts I'm going to wear. I just have a tank top. It says I can't adult today, which is going to be quite the case with having a c-section um, and then just a long-sleeved uh, maternity shirt I just like wearing maternity clothes when they're comfortable I don't have to worry about it being on my incision so yeah I'm glad I realized that I need to put a pair of pants in here <coughs> that would have been fun I would have had no pants to wear home other than the pants that I wore to the hospital and then that's it for my clothes. Like I said, I tried not to overpack too much on the clothes. Um, so then I have this, which I actually purchased for the hospital. Um, it's just a 10 foot charger because when you're in that hospital bed, there's like plugs everywhere, but they're all usually taken or they're in awkward spots. So I brought this so that Rex can just plug it in for me anywhere and then I can have a long cord and I don't have to worry about plugging my phone in and letting it charge and then looking at it because obviously our kids are going to be with uh, family and um, I just I, I like to stay communicated with everybody so I got a charge a 10 foot charger and then in here I just have a little bit of makeup I know I know. Um, I will probably put on a little bit of makeup for my C-section. I think I did last time, but I'm only going to do like foundation and then maybe some eyeshadow and mascara. So that's all I have in here too, is some eyeshadow, um, cover up, and mascara. Uh, I usually do put on makeup when we come home. so. That's why that's in there. And plus, you already feel so yucky in the hospital. Sometimes it's nice to just put on a little bit of makeup. And then, I'm going to go through this little thing. It's buttoned into here, but I can button it back up. Um, this is like the travel part of the suitcase, which I have a lot more stuff in there than just this, because there's another pocket, but... Um, I did bring nursing pads. Now I know that most places probably provide these, but I know when Willow was in the NICU at the last hospital I delivered at, they didn't give me breast pads. I didn't ask because I had some, but they didn't get, they didn't offer me any. So I did bring some of those, even though I know my milk may not even come in at the hospital. They're nice to have just in case. And then I have a brand new toothbrush for me and Rex. I have a headband for myself, just in case it gets sweaty and hot and stuff. I got some lanolin for crack nipples. I've got some toothpaste, which I'm sure the hospital provides, but I had it in here anyway. And then I have a few ponytails, because I usually have my hair up like the entire time. And then I have a pick. I, I don't know guys. It was in here. <laughs> I'm not sure why I have a pick in there. I really don't need that in there, but it was in here from the last time we went on vacation or something. And then I got this big pocket here to go through. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna have to turn you around. So in here, I have a lot more goodies in here. I have a brush. I just put a brush in there and then I got a new one for Christmas because I can't stand when I go somewhere and forget a brush. I do it all the time and the hospital is not the place to be doing that because they only provide you combs and that doesn't work out so well. 
and then I have a nipple shield. I had to use this with RJ and I had to use it with Willa. Willa didn't really nurse much, but I did use it with her the few times I did nurse. And again, I don't know what this hospital provides, so I just bought one. So I would have one at the hospital just in case. I'd rather use that than a bottle if I have to. And then in this little Ziploc thing, I just have some home medication. I have prenatals because they don't provide you those. And um, Tylenol and Ibuprofen, which I won't need the Tylenol and Ibuprofen because it's provided, I'm sure. But um, I just put some in there so that there be some for Rex. Or again, if there's a NICU stay, I'll have some of my own. And then I'm also bringing my own pump because I'm pretty sure with having a NICU, they have hospital grade pumps, but they're usually Medela. And for some reason, I don't know why, I never respond well to the Medela, like ever. So I did bring my own pump so that I know that if baby's separated, if baby needs to supplement, I'm going to be able to get something out. Because <laughs> um, with Willa, that was a big problem. I didn't bring my own pump. And they only had the Medela, and I was barely getting any colostrum out. So um, I ended up bringing my own pump, this pump actually, to the NICU after I went home and came back. Um, but this is just a Motif Duo. I have a bigger pump. I have, um, sorry, my camera, the memory got full. But I have a bigger pump that I'm going to use at home. But if you're looking for a travel size pump, I highly recommend the Motif Duo. This pump has done me so good. I exclusively pumped with it with Willa. So this is a great, great pump. I really have been very happy with this pump. And then I have some dry shampoo just for like that first day after I have a baby because I usually don't end up getting a shower until the next day. Um, yeah, I probably won't end up getting a shower till the next day. So I have some dry shampoo. I have a bar soap for Rex because he's kind of picky about soap and um, they have bar soap. It's not the greatest. So I did bring him his own bar soap. I brought some deodorant. So you definitely need that after having a baby, trust me. <laughs> I brought some um, just lotion. The baby's got lotion in his bag too, but I wanted some for myself. It's just, and it's very plain lotion, just in case for some reason he's um, sensitive to stuff because I have more lotion in there, but it's scented. It's my preferred lotion that I use, but this is the charger for my pump. It just charges and you can take it off the charger, but... And then, the last thing is all this travel stuff. I'm sure the hospital has shampoo, and I'm sure they probably have body wash, but their stuff is just never the greatest. So, in here I have my shampoo and my conditioner, and then my body wash <laughs> and I also have my lotion which is Victoria's Secret Lotion. I really like this. It smells great. But again, if Benjamin is sensitive, I will have to use this. So I have that too. And then this is Rex's uh, uh, shampoo. He has the bar soap for his body wash. but. Um, I just bought these little bottles off of Amazon so that I didn't have to go and buy travel size shampoo and stuff just because I feel like it's kind of a waste of money when I have it right here and it just needs to put in something so yeah that is everything in the bag. Now a couple other things that I'm bringing I don't know if you can see them behind me but I have a checkered blanket that I'm bringing it's just a throw blanket I like having my own blanket it's just comfort. And then my body pillow, which is behind me, um, because frankly, I can't sleep without my body pillow. And they don't provide you a lot of pillows usually. So I have that. And then I also, it's not in here because it's in the room where Willa's napping and I still have to put a new cover on it. 
but I will be bringing my boppy as well for the baby. Um, just in general, it's nice to have a boppy if you're going to nurse or even if you're not going to nurse, but when you have a C-section, it's almost necessary in my opinion, because having the baby against you and you fully supporting the baby while you're breastfeeding can really, really hurt at first after a C-section. So I will be bringing that as well. So that is everything. I'm going to put everything back in here and reorganize. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you think I missed anything or you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I think I did pretty good. I didn't pack pads because the hospital is going to provide pads. They're going to provide the mesh underwear, which with Willa, I brought Depends, but I bought the wrong size and they literally didn't fit. <laughs> so I didn't even bother this time. I'm just going to wear the mesh panties and then my own underwear. Um, but they provide pads. I'm not picky when it comes to that kind of stuff. So yeah, that is everything. I'm out of breath. Again, I'm pretty much 37 weeks pregnant and I can't breathe ever. And I have a stuffy nose right now because my sinus is bothering me. But anyway, <clears throat> this is just the baby stuff. Um, if you hear little voices, the kids are in the next room playing. But anyway, I wanted to show you what I have for him in here. Almost everything in here is just for the hospital, but there are a few things in here that I just want to have in my diaper bag. So I'm probably not going to use it at the hospital, but it's in here for everyday basis. I'm definitely going to have to add some things to it after the hospital. But yeah, so I have this diaper bag. It's Kia Babies. It's um, Amazon's brand, I think, kind of. And then... Um, this isn't brand new. I use this a lot for Willa. I think I got it back in like, I don't even know really. <laughs> I think I got it back in like March, um, but it's held up really well. So I bumped her up into a, um, like a backpack bag and put Benjamin's stuff in here. Okay, I have it kind of opened up here so I can just pull out things and show you. Um, first I have a blanket for him for the hospital. Um, it's just got uh, little animals on it and it's teal and white and gray and it's really cute so I have that just to have a nice comfy blanket and then I have a swaddle just a thin um, little swaddle the hospital does provide like the receiving blankets but the last I heard my hospital no longer has swaddles unless things have changed so um, I want to make sure I have like real swaddles so there's that one and then I have a thicker one right here and then we have some little baby socks I just brought two pairs because I don't think he's going to use more than that at the hospital so two little baby socks and then I have this in here um, Hopefully we'll remember to do this while we're there, but if not, we'll just do it when we get home. But I wanted to definitely bring it. Um, it's just an ink pad for his foot because I don't know about this hospital, but every hospital that I've had my kids at so far, they don't do the footprints anymore on their own. So, um, yeah, I got this on Amazon. Let's see. Sorry if you hear me heavy breathing. I'm 36 weeks pregnant and I am out of breath. And then I also put his little board in here to fill out um, all his stats and stuff. It's really cute. So I have that. And then I have two little bear hats. Well, this one's not a bear, I guess. But I have two little hats. Again, if you're a first-time parent, you really don't need all this stuff. I just overpack, and I love to dress my babies up right away. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I have one newborn sleeper, two newborn sleepers, uh, a newborn onesie. And then this is a potential coming home outfit right here. It says, hi, I'm new here. So why I say potential is because 
baby boy is measuring really large. He's already eight and a half pounds roughly and I am only 36 weeks so we could be potentially looking at a 10 pound baby. So those are newborn clothes and then I also packed some three month clothes because I really don't know how big he's going to be and what he's going to fit in. So that is why I overpacked on clothes. Um, he's got a three month onesie, two three month sleepers, and then a three month coming home outfit. I'm not going to unfold all the clothes and show you just because that would take way too much time because I packed so many clothes. Um, if he hadn't had this like weird weight issue, <laughs> I wouldn't have needed to pack all that. But um, down here too, I just have some receiving blankets. Again, not necessarily for the hospital, just to have in here. And then we have some diapers in here. The hospital provides diapers, but I like to have some already in the diaper bag. And then the same thing with the wipes. And then in here, I have just some coconut balm, which could be used for the baby at the hospital or for cracked nipples. So I have that. And then I have some baby Cetaphil wash and shampoo. Um, not for the hospital, but just to have in here. Oh boy, hold on. Here it is. Um, I have a pack of pacifiers for him to try. These are just the Nook brand. I'm hoping he'll take this. If not, the hospital has pacifiers too. So, there's that. And I believe that is it. Um, in his diaper bag. So, I gotta put everything back, but I just wanted to show you guys, goodness my kids, I just wanted to show you guys that, um, I, th I think this diaper bag was around $30, it's probably still on Amazon, um, but it's got two pockets on the sides for bottles, and then it's got this storage space for bottles, it's a little torn because I've used it so long, but... So it's got that spot for bottles, and then it's also got, one thing I really like is this zipper. It goes straight to the bottom of the bag, so instead of searching, searching for something, you can just unzip this and grab it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and please subscribe and hit that like button, and we will talk to you next time. Bye.